All right, boy, they said it was popping. It's your boy, Big Rich, again. I decided to say, you know, uh, let's go a little two for two, all right? Throw some smoke in the air. We're about to get to some serious business. And, you know, the first mob story that I ever did was on the Frankie Cali hit because, you know, I was just, you know, I was taken away. I said, wow, they, you know, they killed this godfather, alleged Gambino godfather. And I put it up there, and um, that was the birth of mob stories. Anyway, let's get down to business, a two for two. Throw some smoke in the air. Gentlemen, wipe your feet on the rugs. You know how we get down, all right? Big Rich, Queens, New York City. Let's get busy. Uh, the article is by Irene Spesmonte. So salute to you, Irene. We throw respect on your name. Four days after Gambino boss Francisco Frankie Boy Cali was killed outside his hilltop terrace home, Members of the mob family organized a clandestine meeting on Staten Island as they launched their own investigation into the murder, prosecutors say. Andrew Campos, 50, who prosecutors identified as a captain in the Gambino family, and Vincent Fiori, 57, an alleged Gambino soldier, met with multiple other high-level crime family members to discuss the then unclear circumstances surrounding Cali's death. The U.S. Attorney Eastern District of New York wrote in a detention memo that was unsealed on Thursday afternoon. The detention memo does not detail where exactly on Staten Island the group met. In the following days, Campos and Fiori of Scarsdale, New York, and Briarcliff, New York, respectively, actively helped the Gambino family investigate the murder, the memo alleges. The day after the meeting on March 18th, Fiori talked to his ex-wife about the session, telling her that he and Campos met with a half a dozen people, prosecutors wrote in the memo. Fiori also told her that he had seen the surveillance video of Cali's slaying and speculated on a possible motive relating to a woman who had been at the Hilltop Terrace home on the day of the slaying, the memo says. Prosecutors do not specifically say who the woman could have been. The accused Gambino soldier affectionately called Cali Frankie and described him as someone who was loved, according to the memo. Fiori, however, had started discussing Cali's murder the morning after he died when he received a call from James Ciaccia, 51 of the Bronx, an accused Gambino family soldier, according to the memo. During the phone call, Fiori said Cali's death was a good thing because Campos, to whom both Fiori and Ciaccia reported, was likely to gain more power in the family, prosecutors alleged in the memo. On March 16th, Anthony Comello, 25, of Eltingville, was arrested in connection with the slaying. He has been in jail since then and made several inconsistent statements to investigators where he detailed what happened that night in March. We discussed that already. On Thursday morning, Justice William E. Garnett denied a motion to suppress the statements Camelo made to investigators. The details about the Gambino family meeting were revealed after the Eastern District of New York announced the arrest of 10 alleged members and associates of the Gambino family on Thursday. The defendants are facing charges that span from racketeering, conspiracy, bribery, loan sharking, fraud, obstruction of justice, and related offenses. None of the people arrested are from Staten Island. The outstanding investigative work by his office's prosecutors and our law enforcement partners uncovered a litany of crimes allegedly committed by members and associates of the Gambino organized crime family, so that is interesting, huh? That they had a meeting to see what was going on. All right, so salute to everybody. Mob Story Season 2. Check it out. Like the video. Comment. Let me know what you're smoking on. Put it in the comment section. And also, make sure that you are subscribed to this channel. Make sure that bell has two lines on each side of it. That means you get every alert that we put out. Everybody have a good evening. Salute.